Sheikh Ahmed Al Tayeb, Egyptian Imam of the Al Ajar Mosque, has received Iran's Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Salihi for talks in Cairo about the possible role that Al Jazar could play to achieve a national reconciliation with Egypt. Both men played down their opposing views over Syria, and the meeting is being viewed as an attempt by Tehran to make new friends at a time when it has become increasingly isolated over its controversial nuclear program. Cairo and Tehran severed ties in the wake of the Islamic Revolution in Iran in 1979, and the countries took opposite paths. Egypt agreed a peace treaty with Iran's archenemy Israel and became a close ally of the United States, while Iran positioned itself as the center of opposition to Western influence in the region. Relations between the two countries remained non-existent under Egypt's former leader Hosni Mubarak, who was deeply suspicious of Islamist-led Iran and never visited Tehran during his 30 years in power. Since Mubarak's fall, however, there have been signs of a thaw in relations. Last February, Iranian warships entered the Mediterranean Sea via Egypt's Suez Canal for only the second time since the 1979 revolution. As a signatory to the 1888 Constantinople Convention, which allows all ships right of passage through the Suez during war or peace, Egypt could not have blocked the Iranian navy from sailing through the canal. But analysts believe the move was likely to have had tacit approval from Cairo. In another sign of improving relations, Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi visited Tehran during the Non-Aligned Movement Conference in August last year, making him the first Egyptian leader to visit Iran since the Islamic Revolution. But sharp differences between the two countries remain, especially as Tehran is one of the last and staunchest allies of embattled Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, whereas Egypt wants Assad to relinquish power to stop Syria's bloody 22-month-old civil war.